No one involved in Southern California sport fishing is better known than Captain Bill Poole. In a career that spans six decades, this adventurer and entrepreneur owned and operated ten sport fishing vessels, skippered thousands of anglers, was among the first to explore Mexican waters, and built the world's largest long-range boats. In 1947, Bill became the youngest owner-skipper in the San Diego fleet when he and his father bought the 120-foot Lazy Days, anchored it off the coast, and shuttled anglers from the pier to the barge. Two years later, they purchased the 50-foot Melita and began day trips to the Coronado Islands. In 1951, Poole acquired the Polaris, a 62-foot Navy boat. Every day from April to September, he took anglers out for whatever was biting, determined to produce better passenger and catch numbers than the other fleet boats. That same year, Bill made his first trip to Guadalupe Island, 150 miles off Baja. Though onboard conditions were primitive, with limited fresh water, small fish holds, and rudimentary navigation, and the trip took place under the radar, since Coast Guard licensing wasn't available at the time, the fishing was grand. Over the next 12 years, Bill Poole, at the helm of the Polaris, established his reputation as a top skipper and fierce competitor. Two of the most notable all-tackle world records were caught on his boats. The first yellowfin tuna over 300 pounds on the Cape Polaris in 1973, and four years later a 388-pound yellowfin, a record that stood for 33 years on the Royal Polaris. Bill had the vision, knowledge, skill, and marketing savvy to make long-range fishing what it is today. He traveled to new destinations and commissioned finer, more powerful vessels with plusher quarters, improved storage, and state-of-the-art electronics. As his boats got bigger, his innovations and improvements enhanced their luxury, speed, safety, comfort, and fishability. From 1964 to 1970, the 65-foot Polaris II, 80-foot Polaris III, and 90-foot Cape Polaris were launched. In 1974, Bill's own company produced the 113-foot all-aluminum Royal Polaris, the largest long-range sport fisher ever built. It was the first of many state-of-the-art boats built by the Poole Boat Company, all with improved functionality and amenities. Bill produced 27 boats in all, many still part of the San Diego fleet. At the conclusion of his memorial service in 2009, a large flotilla, most of the boats built, finished or designed by Bill, made its way out to San Diego Bay, led by his beloved last boat, the 124-foot Excel. Bill Poole was a long-range fishing pioneer who laid the groundwork, set the standards, and grew San Diego's long-range industry. He expanded the geographical borders of the fleet, built boats to reach those frontiers, skippered anglers to world record catches, and mentored many of today's top captains. If you want to, you can always pinch down your thumb when you're lifting. Always take it off in time. If you can start to run, just pull the thumb off real quick, okay? That way you get a little line. See, you don't pump the drag up. Now lift. You're working a lot harder than you have to work. Just relax. Just when you get line. If you're not getting line, you're just cranking the handle and doing nothing, okay? Now you're looking like a pro. <laughs> Relax a little bit. You get so excited. <laughs> In recognition of his tremendous passion for the sport and the industry and his beautiful boats, the IGFA Fishing Hall of Fame honors Bill Poole.